What's going on, people? Today we're here to talk about this. Yeah. Um. Why? If you, like me, hadn't played YBA in a long time, and were maybe hoping to come back to, oh, I don't know, somewhat decent game balance, uh, you will be sorely disappointed, because, if anything, things have probably gotten worse since the last time I played. Uh, and I don't know how that's possible, but here we are. And the most egregious thing that I've seen so far is definitely Vampire's Counter. Because who thought giving a counter to a spec alone was a good idea? Never mind a counter that freezes people in place for four seconds! Why is it four seconds long? I don't have a goddamn clue, but it is. Now, the problems that stem from this counter aren't just that it lasts four seconds long, because as I'm sure a lot of players are probably thinking to themselves right now, the counter doesn't actually last four seconds if you hit the opponent. If you hit the opponent, it breaks immediately, and then they're free to attack you again. But the issue stems from the fact that the counter is giving you free combos. Not only does it give you free combos, but it has four seconds, so you can take the four seconds to set up whatever the hell you want. Counters have always been a contentious issue, especially when it comes to this game. There are some people that think that they should have massive startup windows. There are some people like myself who think that they should have little to none, otherwise they become almost entirely useless. Uh, but the problem here is that you do need to have some sort of balance philosophy when going into doing either of those things. If the counter is going to have a ton of startup, then it needs to be worth landing. Because if it's hard to land and you barely get anything off of it, then no one's going to use it. And on the flip side, in this case, if the counter is really easy to land and can completely neutralize certain stands because their entire moveset relies around things that can be countered, you can't have that counter then be extremely powerful. Some may be wondering just how extremely powerful is the counter? And to that, I guess I could just raise you this. What is that? For those curious on actual hard numbers, uh, that did over 124 damage on somebody with boxing resistance. That means people that don't have boxing resistance are gonna take even more than that. Now the question of the day is, who signed off on this? Who was like, yeah, you know what? This is fine. Let's have it so that Vampire has a counter that makes it so you can get 124 plus damage. That's genius. And it's not even like it's hard. For the record, I played maybe two hours. No, that's not a joke. Two hours for this video alone. I haven't played at all since the last video I did. I played for two hours and I was able to pull this off relatively consecutively in almost every match. 124 plus damage. If it takes two hours to get a combo that does half somebody's health, you'd think that maybe someone somewhere over there would think that there's something wrong. But obviously not, because it's been two months. People wonder and they ask me, they're like, Eclipse, why BA is better now? Why aren't you playing? What's wrong with you? Well, um, what the fuck is this? And I can only assume that this isn't the only problem. This is just face value, you know? I saw this and I was like, you know, that counter could probably do some really ridiculous, unfair things. Let me go look. And like, just, what the fuck? Now, I think the more interesting note to take into consideration here when it comes to this is I never planned on doing any sort of videos on the vampire rework or anything like that that involved balance because we got it on good authority from the man himself, Uzu, that balances for the stuff that's new when it comes out are basically just gonna be non-existent. 
the shit's gonna come out, it's gonna be unfun to play against, it's gonna be stupidly overpowered, and then they'll fix it a few weeks down the line. Uh, but again, it's been two months. So, to those of you who have been dealing with this for two months, and for those of you that are going to have to deal with this afterwards, now that I've shown the wider community who may otherwise not have figured this out by now, somehow, uh, that even without a spec, you can do like 90 damage off of a counter, I, I just don't get it. And, you know, maybe there's some people who just don't quite grasp the big problem here. And the big problem here is that there are a lot of abilities and stands in YBA that just flat out can't deal with counters. There are matchups in this game that are borderline impossible. I'm looking at King Crimson slash King Crimson Requiem versus Tusk Act 4 level stuff. Tusk Act 4 is heavily reliant on projectiles, with almost every move it has being a projectile. And that works really well against stands that don't have counters, but those that do can just wait until they see the projectiles, especially when it comes to wormhole nails, and react to the projectile, press the button, and congratulations, now your attack is moot, and the enemy is hitting you. Now when it comes to King Crimson and King Crimson Requiem, they just do a really good job because of Epitaph. You can just use it and it puts you right behind the enemy and you can beat them up. You can't get space. And especially with Requiem, where you can throw up the box and your opponent can't run away anymore, that's especially bad for Tusk Act 4 because that mobility, well, you need it in order to win. And without it, you're in deep. The problem here is that now, instead of having impossible matchups where you're playing Tusk Act 4 and you run into a King Crimson and you're like, Ugh, this is probably gonna be really hard. Instead, it could be literally any stand in the game. You could run into anything, and if they have Vampire, your matchup is over. You're done for. You could be like me, and be running one of the most annoying stands in the whole game, the World Alternate Universe, and use Vampire. And congratulations, you've trivialized Tusk Act 4 and completely removed the moveset of several other stands. The one takeaway from this video should be that counters are a slippery slope. And if you make a counter that gives people combos, you need to make goddamn sure that the stand that you're giving it to can't benefit so heavily from that that it can do half someone's health. And when you give a counter, and when you give a combo starting counter to every stand in the game, you guessed it, you break the game. That's all for me. Have a wonderful day and night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time.